The release date for my tower defense game is the 19th of April, which as of the release of this video is tomorrow. So I'd like to welcome you all to the 47th and final devlog for Project Tarum, my Iron Age Fantasy tower defense game. How's it going everybody? I'm Lewis, also known as Scaffold, and it's fantastic to be at this stage of the game. I've been working on this game for a year, documenting everything I do and I'm finally ready to put it out there. Whilst this is exciting, it's actually also quite terrifying. This is because of the expectations of games that have been in development for a long time, and the expectations of features that every other game dev seems to throw at their game. So I want to discuss the game, and settle any and all expectations before release. First of all I just want to say, Project Tarim has gone far beyond my original idea. However there is unfortunately a plethora of new ideas that I've collected over the development which I've just had to cut. This is the nature of software development and whilst I'm sad to leave these out, I'm happy that I finally get to release the game. Thank you to everybody that has suggested ideas for this game, it really wouldn't be the same without you. And don't worry if your idea hasn't been implemented as I will be keeping them all in mind for future games. So what can you expect from Project Tarum? Project Tarum is a tower defense game, much like Bloons or Kingdom Rush. You lay down towers which are soldiers and sages to defend against waves of evil creatures. The waves grow in strength with more and more evil creatures spawning until you get to a boss. Defeating that boss increases your tier and calls upon a new wave of evil creatures to attack you once again. There are 7 tiers in total, each with a new creature and a new boss based on Greek and Roman mythologies. As you kill the evil creatures you will gain money to buy more towers and upgrade your existing ones. As you progress through the tiers you will find yourself with more money which allows you to unlock higher tier towers which are exponentially better and have unique abilities. Can you make it to the end? Now you're probably thinking to yourself, that sounds fantastic, how much will this game cost? This game is completely free, just head to the itch link in the video description and you'll be able to download and play. What platforms does the game support? The game will be released on Windows and Android. Of course it would be great to get it on other platforms, but that's just not possible for me right now. How do I install the game? Well if you're on Windows, download the zip from the itch page and extract it to wherever you want then run the Project Tarum EXE. If you're on Android, download the APK from the itch page, run it and it will install onto your device. How long will the game take to play? Well this depends how good you are. I originally aimed for this game to last about an hour, but from recent playtesting it's been about 40 minutes, so it's a little shorter than I had hoped, but I'm happy with it and I certainly don't feel the need to prolong the gameplay. Where can I report bugs? Well if you spot something with the game release, report it via the form on the itch page. Please try to be as descriptive as you can, providing a video of the gameplay if possible, and if I deem it severe enough I will fix it. And how can I receive any updates to the game? Whilst I don't have immediate plans to update the game, and I hope that I don't have to make any huge bug fixes, I'm not ruling it out. Unfortunately I don't have a launcher that will automatically update, so if it happens I will release a video to let you know, and if you want you can manually update your game. Finally, I want to say, this whole development process for Project Arm has been fantastic, and no matter how the game is received I am absolutely happy with what I've done, the engine features I've produced, and how it's kept me sane throughout the pandemic. Whilst this is the final devlog, I may make a few post-release videos on Project Arm, so I hope you keep tuned in for those, and to hear about my next game project. The best way to do that is to subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed watching this devlog series for Project Tarrant. Please leave a like to let me know you did, and if it's beyond the 19th, please go and play the game. The link is in the video description. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you, and goodbye.